respiratory and cough etiquette. Those are important practices that we must implement in any healthcare setting, all right? So, let's talk about that. But first, wait a minute. Let's talk about that now. Respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette are needed to prevent transmission of all respiratory infections in healthcare settings, including influenza. Infection control measures should be implemented at the first point of contact with a potentially infected person. We can use visual alerts, respiratory hygiene cough etiquette alerts, mask and separation of persons with respiratory symptoms, and droplet precautions. You can also post visual alerts at the entrance of the outpatient facilities, instruct patients and persons who accompany them to inform healthcare personnel of symptoms of a respiratory infection when they first register. The following measures to contain respiratory secretions are recommended for all individuals with signs and symptoms of a respiratory infection. First, cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when coughing or sneezing. Second, use in the nearest waste receptacle to dispose of tissue after use. And third, perform hand hygiene. Healthcare facilities should ensure the availability of materials for adhering to respiratory hygiene and cough etiquette in waiting areas for patients and visitors. These are provide tissues and no-touch receptacles for use tissue disposal. Provide conveniently located dispensers of alcohol-based hanrock. Where sinks are available, ensure that supplies for hand washing such as soap and disposable towels are consistently available. Masking and separation of persons with respiratory should also be done during periods of increased respiratory infection activity in the community, wherein they can offer masks to persons who are coughing. Either procedure mask or surgical mask may be used to contain respiratory secretions. And make sure, when space and chair availability permit, encourage coughing persons to sit at least three feet away from others in common waiting areas.